And do you remember that almost every sentence in English has to have a verb? I am Danny. And this is Malvika. She is a dancer and we are from Kolkata. She was in Delhi while my parents and I were at home. Okay, Malvika, you can go now. Do you remember what a verb is? A verb is an action word. And do you remember that almost every sentence in English has to have a verb? But what about the sentences I just said? None of those sentences had verbs in them. Did they? Yes, every single sentence I had said about Malvika and I had a verb in it. The verb was the to be verb. This is a very special verb form because it can change according to the past or present. It also changes according to the number of people or things, that is singular or plural form. So let's take a look at some of the ways the to be verb changes. When we are talking about something in the present, something that is happening right now, the to be verb takes the form of am, is or are. I'm sure a few examples will make things easier. I am a painter. Am is used as the form of the to be verb only with I in the present. The plural form of the to be verb will be are. For example, we are painters. When we are using the pronouns he, she or it, is, is a to be verb form. For example, he is very angry. Is your brother taller than you? She is really smart. It is a very easy thing to do. When using the plural they, we use are as the to be verb. For example, they are happy. They are very naughty. Like I said earlier, the to be verb keeps changing. And when we talk about things in the past, it changes to was or were. For example, I was shocked when I saw him at the party. He was losing the match. They were all horrified to hear the bad news. We were stuck at the school because of the rains. But what about actions that have started in the past but continue to happen in the present? Do we use was or were or do we use are or is? The to be verb form can be very confusing, especially when it gets to this kind of situation. Let's use a few examples to make things easier for us. Shri is dancing. This sentence is written in the present. But what if Shri has been dancing for three years? Here, the most important part of that sentence is has been. He has been sleeping for 12 hours. They have been going swimming for the past three years. So when actions start in the past but continue into the present, the to be verb form is has been. The to be verb might seem very hard to understand and learn, but all you have to do is pay attention to the other words in the sentence. Are they in the past or present tense? Is it singular or plural? All these other parts of the sentence give us clues and help us understand and use the to be verb correctly.